yeah, this is a, another video um, that I'm doing to sort of show you progress where I've um, been making progress recently. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of sort of um, time to, to look at my collections and sort of um, paint, find time to, to paint bits and pieces here and there. Um, so I decided I would have a go at painting the Blackstone Fortress models um, and actually just completely do the complete set. Um, so yeah, the this video and the next video um, I'll be show, showcasing the, the models, uh, the complete models from the um, Blackstone Fortress game that I've had kicking around for a little while. Um, I had really good fun painting these models. Um, because they're so sort of um, individual, um, it's a good opportunity to play around with different color combinations and uh, techniques and so on to sort of play around with them and see how they they come out and so on. So yeah, quite happy with the way they've come out. Um, I'm sort of probably more more happy that I've actually completely painted the complete set of Blackstone Fortress, which which for me is is, is um an amazing um achievement really um i think like uh, most gamers we, we we suffer from um the um sort of gray plastic sort of side of things and um yeah it's it's hard of us to sort of concentrate on on, on one thing and, and before move before seeing something new that's not nice and shiny and so on and sort of move on um yeah so the this uh, as i said the first video here is the um the good side the good good guys or, or the sort of sort of good guys um from the Blackstone Fortress and um, yeah so basically if I run through them quickly um, there's a rogue trader um, from the box set but what I've actually done is actually done a, a small little conversion on his on his head and put this um, military military hat onto him which i think suits this model um particularly well so he's a he's a, a sort of decent um sort of imperial military bloke stroke um rogue trader and uh, yeah had some had some fun uh putting him together and playing around with some colors uh i've got some sort of forge world sort of horus heresy sort of imperial guards which I've been kicking around for a while that I want to sort of use this guy as a basis for their um, colour scheme, so on there. So yeah, that's basically what's happened with the um, the road trader. It was just a almost like a um, a test model for for how 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 I go about doing the the rest of the army on those there. Um, with the Blackstone Fortress um, people, I decided to base them all in the same way and i went for a traditional sort of green grass looking base um so that i could use them in um in 40 40k at some stage rather than just relying on on them being um sort of blackstone fortress only sort of models so yeah um so i hope you like hope you like the um the small um conversion i've done there to the the road trader i think it works really well um, then if I run through some of the, the other models, the, the next one that I went through and did was uh, the crew, uh, I am crew, and uh, sort of playing around with um, sort of natural, natural colours on the uh, sort of minimise the use of um, metallics on it, so keeping everything sort of natural base colours, and I use some sort of blending techniques on on the robe and everything to sort of give him um uh, yeah first time i've ever uh, painted a crew so not sure really uh what to do with them but uh, obviously trying to keep them as sort of um natural neutral colors on there um i, I didn't think introducing too many colors into into this particular model would, would have helped it out so sort of keep him sort of um neutral on there so that's the crew uh what else did i do next uh i think i did the um navigator did that one next um yeah another another great model um again 
on there. Um, yeah, introduced um, some sort of basic colours and blends and, and washes and so on, on onto onto the colours to sort of keep it natural. But I think um, instinctly it's it's quite a um, simplistic model. But yeah, just uh, obviously making making sure the colour colours work. Um, and not, not overpowering each each other and so on, which which is another one I, I feel came out really well. Um, then I did the um, space pope, which is this guy here. Um, yeah, in, obviously it's difficult to um, paint white uh, very very much. It's, it's it's obviously difficult to get smooth smooth color on white. Uh, but I think I've done a reasonable, reasonable job on the on the white robes and so on. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and then I used a different red on 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 the actual um, uh, hat as well. Um, that's a different that's a couple of different red glazes and so on on the hat. The only thing I I don't particularly like um, wasn't very happy with this particular model was the um, the face. I couldn't quite really get the face working on there um too much so he's a bit he's a bit bit odd looking uh but that's about as best i could really do with those uh and and the writing i tried to fill in the, the writing on on the book on there but as i said um on the uh, space Hulk video I, I find it pretty difficult to sort of <laughs> get a good 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 result really so um yeah that's about as good as it's going to get with with those um the the book itself is quite nice um yeah it's a slightly um blue color book there but if you can see from the corners um it's got the um the metal metal plates in in on the corners just like the um <laughs> the horus heresy book so that's quite quite a nice um feature on there so it's almost like he's holding another one of the um Horus Heresy Black Books, and that's really cool. Yeah, so that's the um, Space Pope. Um, then after that, I did the the two Rattlings. Um, basic models there again. They're pretty cool, pretty standard. Sort of done them in sort of Imperial, uh, Imperial Army green and, and so on. So I try and keep them simple stuff on them. There's nothing too dramatic about those, those two as well. They're pretty similar to each other as well um yeah so it's um they were pretty simple there's not much to say about those two really pretty simple uh then one of the second to last one i did was the the eldar uh it's been a a long time since I, i've done an eldar model um recently as well so um it's quite nice playing around with the, the different um colors um, I try to uh, match the bell tan crosswork colours as much as I could, um, which which I think came out really well as well. Um, it's a nice nice model all round really. Um, the, the thing with with the Elder, I think he, he, he sort of um, it's a sort of cross between ultra modern and sort of natural sort of. Um, way colours work and, and, and mold together so um, there's a little bit of metallic used on the on the guns but not over the top sort of thing um, and sword colour yeah it wouldn't be a metallic sword it's sort of being like a uh, some sort of weird bone bone colour on those there and I also played around with the um, the uh, gemstones as well um, so different colours on those as well so the spirit stones and so on so yeah so they worked out really well. So I was quite quite happy with with this uh, model in the end. It was quite nice. Um, as you can notice from the top of the gun, there's a bit of bit of the top of the gun's missing. I must have snapped that off somewhere along the process, which is a bit annoying sometimes when you you've got a nice decent model and then part of it breaks off. So yeah, I'm sure um, there are other people that have had had problems like that before as well. Um, and then the, the last last model uh, for the blackstone for the good guys is the um is the robot or tom tom guy um yeah with this one i sort of use sort of um 
a lot of dry brushing on this to get the blue um, just because um, he's supposed to be super ancient um, type model and so so the, so the blue and stuff was basically dry brushed or wet brush dry brushed on on rather than painted on to sort of get these effects and you can see down by his feet and so on it's it's all been worn off and so off uh, then I went through and did some touch-ups um, here and there on the metallics and stuff to sort of bring it up to date um, and then sort of did some weathering um, across across certain bits on there so as I rotate it there you can see the glue tin sections on there where when the paint's been rubbed off here or there and everywhere over its certain things but yeah that, that came came out as a nice um, model as well so that's pretty cool that's um, I've not seen it done in this color so um, I think it came out pretty cool so that's really good so yeah basically so um, this is the complete set of models from the uh, Blackstone Fortress on, on the good side um, whilst I've been doing those I sort of uh, conscious of, of other models in my range um, so yeah as I said I wanted to base them in such a way that they could be used um, in 40k uh, with some of the other armies and stuff and um, the base size situation I went with was to match um, this Inquisitor, the Inqu Inquisitor um, Greyfax model uh, that I painted a little while back um, so yeah I wanted to match the sort of style and painting really of this what I did on the um, Greyfax model so yeah so the base and so that basically she, she could um, sit there quite happily um, with with that group and you wouldn't look, look too far out of place um, another model painted recently was this um, an old lead model uh, an old lead space marine that I painted uh, that I found so I thought I'll give that a go it's a long time since I've done, um, done a, a lead model so it was quite fun um, I found it a little bit easier to get the um, the white and stuff to work on on the uh, lead model than the plastic one so that's, that's interesting to uh, play around uh, I painted this one up in the um, mentor legion colors uh, because he's if you see on his hand there's actually holding a shuriken uh, gun which is obviously an, an Eldar Xenos weapon um, so um, traditionally back in law um, the mentor legion were able to sort of play around with Xenos technology and sort of teach teach other space marine chapters how to um, deal with bits and pieces like that so yeah I thought uh, that would be my little tribute uh, to the mentor legion uh, models and in fact it's an old old lead model from that time time scale in there as well so that's really cool uh, and another one I painted really seriously is, is I've been having a look at some of the um, uh, Necromunda um, special characters as well and this is um, I've got quite a few of the um, uh, special characters from Necromunda so I played around with putting this one together it's been sitting sitting on my desk for a long time so yeah it's literally like okay fine uh, I'll get some chance to paint on those um, so yeah it's really really cool little model I'm happy with the way it came out on there as well so um, yeah different type of base and everything but um, all, all in all it's a, a decent looking model so yeah um, so I suppose my, my time uh, time in lockdown has been sort of used productively really uh, probably getting some paint on some models that I should have had had uh, paint on them a long time so yeah um, I'll leave the video there recently um, I'll do a, another video for the um, the the other side of the Blackstone Fortress uh, there's a lot more models in those ones so uh, yeah um, look, look out for that one in the future um, yeah so thank you very much for, for watching guys and girls um, if you uh, like this video please please press like um, any comments uh, yeah I'll, I'll look out for any any comments and stuff that people may have on this video um, and yeah if you feel like it please um, hit the subscribe channel uh, subscribe button and we'll take it from there thanks guys uh, see you in the next one bye